Hey, what's up guys, Bobo Rail here, and today I'm going to be giving you your usual overview for Vigor's Season 11 update preview. So with no more delay, let's jump right into the update we've all been waiting for. So the first and most glaring addition of Season 11 is the long-awaited Kirsten encounter map. It's the fully-fledged version of the shootout map we got last season, and it has a lot of really unique varying terrain. I'm sure it will play a lot differently than other maps when it's released to the full player base. Chris will have a full video breaking down all the POIs of the map later today, so I'm not going to go too in depth here, but based on my first impressions, overall this map looks like it will play pretty well and I'm really excited for everyone in the community to get their hands on it. So next up we're going to be talking about the new gun. Just as everyone expected, Season 11 is coming with the re-edition of the Remington 870. Last seen in the game over 11 updates ago as a green gun, it has since been rebalanced and with that it is now a gold rarity. Here you can see some quick footage of it firing, and I just have to say the sound and animation teams did such a fantastic job with the look and feel of this gun. While I'm shooting it here, you've probably noticed that its spread is a lot tighter than a shotgun normally is in Vigor. And that segues me into the next major topic of this update, the complete overhaul of shotguns. Across the board, shotguns are drastically more accurate and your spread and damage consistency should be improved dramatically. And I know looking at the spread for the IZH, I would be worried about them being way too OP as well. But just as I suggested in my video a few weeks ago on fixing shotguns, this increased accuracy has been compensated with manually tuned damage falloff. As always, any balancing change will have to wait and see how it plays and if it will need further tuning in later updates. But either way, to me, this is pretty much exactly what I requested from shotguns, so I think it looks great right now. There was also another class of guns that was impacted by this update though, and that's the entire rifle category. Primary changes are improved third person accuracy for pretty much all of them, adjusted recoil to somewhat counter that increased accuracy, and finally, once again, as I suggested a few weeks ago, the addition of the first person animations to be more similar and consistent with the L85's recoil model. Oh, and something worth mentioning, uh, the VSS ammo went from stacks of 10 to stacks of 30, so anyone who likes using the VSS, I'm sure you're celebrating right now. Soon, I'll be doing a video that goes really in depth on every gun that's been changed both in the shotgun and rifle categories and talking about my predictions for what to expect in terms of shift in the meta as a result. But that will be only speculation and we'll have to wait until we can record mid-season weapon frequency data to see if I'm correct in any prediction. So yeah, that's a bit of what I have lined up in terms of weapon balancing discussions moving forward, so stay tuned for that in-depth analysis on weapon changes dropping either tonight or tomorrow. That's enough blabbering about weapons though, and now let's talk about the other changes. So first up we have IED monkeys as the new consumable for the season. Not really sure what possessed them to make this, as I feel like the clear choice would have been smoke grenades instead, but this little thing is kind of a hybrid between a contact bomb and a flash grenade. Either way, it's still pretty cool, but not much else to say about it other than it makes a funny noise. And then as always we have a new battle pass and cassette tapes to go with it. But I should mention that cassettes are no longer acquired through the battle pass tiers, but instead found as loot in encounters, where when you find one or multiple in an encounter, it will progress you to the next one in the story, regardless of how slash where you found it. Just like me and Chris usually do, we'll have a full battle pass review dropping shortly after this video today, so if you want to know our opinions on the new cosmetics and just see them all laid out, be sure to check that out. Finally, I wasn't able to get footage of it as the preview build wouldn't allow us to get into Elim, but Elim has also apparently received an overhaul where there's a point system that determines who wins based off damage damage dealt across the whole team. Once again, I could be misrepresenting that change, but I haven't had the ability to test that for myself or get footage of it. So take that with a massive grain of salt. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the preview of update 11.0. As always, this is kind of a more overview and isn't very in depth about it. This to me is one of the best updates in the game's history with big steps forward in terms of the game's balancing, but it's also possible I'm wrong about how this will impact the health of the player base. But we'll talk more about that in my next video. As you guys can tell, me and Chris did a lot of work with this update preview based on our current upload schedule, but there's still a lot more to be talked about and investigated. 
So if you liked this video or found it informative, make sure to leave a like and subscribe because we work very hard to get as much info to you guys as possible. Anyways, that's all I've got for you guys today. This has been Boba Rail from the Christopher Beast channel, and I'll catch you all in the next one.